Hello, um, if you use the CTrader trading platform and you use the CALGO uh, algorithmic trading platform that goes with it for your automated strategies, then you may want to know how to load your parameters and save parameters uh, from your robots onto your hard drive. This is very useful when you're uh, back testing or optimizing your parameters and you want to save each one individually so that you can restore them at a later date. I'll explain more later. So the reason we're doing this video is a lot of customers are asking how they can import our parameter pack that goes with the uh, CTrader. Uh, it's called the Switchpack Forex trading, trading System. You can see it here. So they're asking how to install the parameters onto their uh, robot that they've just downloaded. Okay. So what they'll do, they'll download the parameter pack from the bottom here, but it should also be included when you download it, when you purchase it anyway. Okay. So you'll download the parameter pack and it will look something like this instrument parameters. Um, I just go to the go back here to the Cialgo. What you do is you unzip it. So I'm just going to extract it here. And then if you open up the folder, it's got all your parameters in there. Okay. When you look on the left here, you'll see the, um, the robot that you're initially installed or any kind of robot that you were initially install into Cialgo won't have any instances. What I mean by instances is if I add one, it means an instance of the robot. So you can have 10 instances and you can have like 10 robots running concurrently, each with different parameters trading. OK, so in this case, this is the first one I'm going to put in the euro dollar. When you load it up for the first time around, you'll see that all the trading signals are set to one hour. This means it hasn't been configured. You need to load in parameters for this to work correctly. Um, the same with any kind of robot you're using. You can load in different type of parameters. So if I scroll to the top again, what you do to load a parameter, OK, it's quite simple. You right click on the instance. You click on load parameters. And it goes to that you can navigate to the window where your parameters are. I'm going to click the euro dollar again. You just click open. And there it's opened up. Um, all the parameters and put the parameters into this robot. If you scroll down, it has no longer got the default values. It's got the time frames as one hour, two hour, eight hours, 12 hours and daily. So it's actually configured all of these parameters. If you uh, run some back tests and uh, you, you, you feel that you want to save those values, say I change the time frame to five minutes and the initial lot quantity to, I don't know, so I change it to 0.1. OK, I can save those parameters just by right clicking save parameters. Now I can save it onto the existing list here. You can see here it's got M5 instead of M1. It will save a separate parameter list. And if I want to load in the M5 one, if you see now it's got Euro USD uh, one minute and Euro USD five minutes, it saved them both. So this allows you to do, uh, like I said, you can run an optimization on this robot or any other robot. And then if you like it, say it's, you can rename your parameter set. It could be uh, high risk, uh, low risk, low drawdown. And another one could be high risk, high drawdown. So you can actually um, load in or save different type of parameter sets. If I just open up one of these, I'll just open up one and show you what it looks like. Oh, no, not that. I just open with, and I have to choose notepad. There you go. If you have a look in there, all it's all this file does it actually has all the parameters that you've saved on the left. It just stores them for you in a in a text file. Uh, the extension on the file is actually called cbot set. So we can call these cbot sets. So that's what they are. It's it, it's that simple. So if I wanted to load a different one in, you just put load, you just click a different currency symbol. So you can add new instances on here, add another instance. And you'll see now I've got two euro euro dollar, and I can change this instance. You can just change the uh, symbol to something else. And then you can load a parameter set into that as well. So that's the idea, is to um, have different types of CBOT sets for different um, scenarios. But again, the whole reason for doing this is to allow people to understand if they do buy the switchback robot and you want to load in all the parameters that are listed in there, you pretty much just keep adding instances for each one of the uh, CBOT sets that you can see here. So there's all these CBOT sets we've got down here, apart from the one we just added the five minutes, um, you can pretty much add a new instance, load in the parameters, add a new instance, load in the parameters, and then you can just click start and run the robot. Okay, thank you.